Hello, welcome to Go. Uh, where are we, Doug? You don't recognize it? It was kind of familiar, but something's not quite the uh, same. Okay, that's because we are here at Center of Gravity in uh, City Park in Kelowna. Okay. And it's early on Friday. Things are just getting set up, just getting underway. You're used to it when it's packed with people and everything's yes. happening. This weekend, this place is going to be packed with thousands of people taking part in all of the incredible activities that are part of this sort of music and sports festival that takes place here in Kelowna every year. And we're going to see what we can find to give you a preview of early on Friday. So don't forget to mark your calendars for next year, June 9th and 10th at Waterfront Park. This is going to be a pretty wild festival. No, you yeah, didn't. Yeah, yeah, you but oh, dear. recently there was another festival for kids, a wild festival for youth. Yeah. It's wild because they yeah, learn about the animals yeah. and the birds yeah. and stuff. Build birdhouses, it's super cool. Doug, see, we're totally in Mario Land. What happens is you go to each of these checkpoints, you collect the stars, and if you do that, then you get to watch the concert at the end. I'm not entirely sure that's how it works, Lucy. That's, that's the thing. But we're going to use the map anyway to, to guide us as uh, we offer this little preview of Center of Gravity coming up with more right after the break. Now we're talking to Scott, Festival Director for Center of Gravity. Nice and early on Friday, things are all coming together. Yeah, it's always exciting on Friday. There's so much work that goes into this year round and seeing everything come together and all the hypes uh, finally being realized. It's, it's awesome. Talk a little bit about some of the things that are going to be taking place uh, this year. Uh, we have a number of the same sports we've had over the last couple of years. We have beach volleyball, we have motocross, skateboarding, BMX, and then we have the wake zone, which has wakeboarding and uh, wake skating. Uh, we have a couple of interactive zones that are new this year. So we have the airbag, which is really cool. Guests can uh, jump from 40 feet high and land in this huge airbag right on Okanagan Lake. Doing that. Yeah, it's not should. inflated yet, is it? <laughs> yeah. It's being inflated right now just for you. As yeah. we speak, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then we have the Zorb Soccer Zone, which is really cool. So festival attendees can grab a group of friends and you have this big inflatable ball around you and uh, yeah, you play some form of soccer. Uh, and then our lineup this year, I'm really pumped about that. We have Ice Cube today and I'm a, I'm a huge fan and brings me back to my youth. So pretty pumped to see him. It's such a unique event because it's not just about the music. You have the sports, everything else. It's like, how do you even begin to bring something like that together? Yeah, it didn't uh, happen overnight for sure. With the the way that Center of Gravity grew, we just kept adding, and uh, you know, I look back at it, and it's kind of a crazy journey that uh, that we took. But you know, originally it started as a volleyball tournament, and then we added the motocross and the wakeboarding, and it was just you know one thing at a time. And now we have this really cool, crazy multi-sport entertainment festival. <laughs> Have you seen this lineup? There's not one, but there are four stages. That's amazing. I like. We've got main stage headliners. We've got Ice Cube. Wow. Showtack. And 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 Skrill Skrillex. 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 Yeah. Skrillex. Oh, ah. Yeah. Really cool. Well, I feel like kind of connected to this no. a little bit because I have a I have a I have a friend. He's Polish. He's a, he's an audio oh, engineer, nice. roadie with yeah. the band. Well, and I have a Czech one too. A Czech no. one too. Czech I'm sorry. One too. It's just just walk away. So there are tons of vendors here at Center Gravity and I have the opportunity to meet Laura and uh, she's going to demonstrate some of the awesome clothing she has here. First one being the butter was it the butterfly blouse? Butterfly blouse. Tell me more. Oh, okay. So this fabulous blouse is like the perfect travel accessory because you can wear it as a shirt, as a shawl. I'll show you. So show me the way. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so you can wear it with the buttons in front. Uh, you can spin it to the side and wear it like that. That's two. That's two. You can make it more shirt style by tying up the ends it's like that. Three. You can run your hand through it like that and wear it like a Greek goddess. <laughs> Four. I love anything that is multi-purpose, multifunctional. Oh. So this is right up my alley. Oh, then you're in the perfect booth because all of our things do double, triple, quadruple duty. Ready? You can wear it as a beach wrap. Okay. You can wear it as a shawl, a scarf, and then you can also use it as a head wrap. 
Amazing. Uh, that's amazing. And so really simple too, because often I get discouraged. I'm like, oh, that was like a lot of effort, but you literally did that in no time at all. No time at all. Amazing. Thank well, you. thank you for sharing. Be sure to come and check out all of the wonderful vendors here at Zen of Gravity. And we just happen to have come across Jay here from Kelowna CrossFit setting up for uh, Saturday's events. And uh, tell us a little bit more what's happening with your... Well, this is the first year, Gauntlet Games. Uh, Center of Gravity wanted some new blood into the uh, events here, uh, already added to their great stuff. But um, CrossFit and uh, functional fitness seems to be the thing of the day. There's weightlifting, there's a swim involved. Obviously, we got the beach um, and then uh, and then the obstacle course. The obstacle course, classic CrossFit, what you'll see in commercials, you know, Reebok commercials and things like that. Um, They're always flipping the tire. Always flipping the tire. The tire is the mainstay. I mean, if there was anything, anything that's going on the shirt, it that's says it all over it, right? Exactly. If there was anything that said CrossFit, it would be Douglas flipping a tire, well, I feel. I mean, I obviously right. have already been working out. Look at the sweat glistening. Uh, all right, so, uh, well, yeah, okay, let's flip a tire. So, walk me through it, Jay. So this would be a real-life deadlift. You're stranded on the side of the road, your minivan, you've souped it up, right? Yeah, so you put yeah. some big tires I've, I've on it. I've got tires like this um, on my truck. Obviously, so you need to lift the tire up. This is like a deadlift, all in the legs, nice and tight core. We're, none of the back, none of the right, back. This, of the you back. hear that stuff, it's not true. So, legs, we're gonna be all the way down, all our right. chest is up, we're chest grabbing this tire, and we're lifting with our legs, just like that. Try not to make it look so hard, though. All right. Um, all right. Right, so right back down. So right. this is roughly about 190 pounds, right? I'll give you that. I'll Just give you that. like I, that, Doug. I want to get all the sounds, so I'm gonna get right. in here. Get in there. Okay, so okay. all legs, right, butt right to the ground. Beautiful plie. Use these Squat big it. legs, and then lean forward, lean forward, and legs. Lean forward like this. Yep. You lean forward into the tire. Oh, okay. And legs, 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 legs. Wow. Good. Finish it off. Throw it right down. Boom. That's Whew. the sound we like. All I'm right. A, that, a, how was it? That's that's heavy. So 9 a.m. tomorrow, we're here. That's 9 a.m. All right. You're registered as a team. Okay. <laughs> a team. No. Awesome. You get that uh, tire. That was gonna say that that was the ladies' tire too, Doug. Oh. oh. All right. Well. <laughs> but you know what? No. Shut it down. No. Shut it down. No, no. There's no waiver involved here. <laughs> This is really cool. A theater company has arrived in Vernon with everything they need to put on a youth production of The Frog Prince, except for one vital ingredient, the cast. But dozens of local children will be auditioning for that production, and Jamie Ross has more on that. And that's totally a real thing, right? Like, you kiss the frog, you find your prince. Oh, absolutely, Lucy, yeah, for sure. And right along the shoreline there, I bet we can go look for some frogs, right, Chris? Doug, this is exactly what I was talking about. You're going to jump 40 feet off of the top of that tower. Off that tower? Yes. There's nothing to land on right oh, now, Oh, but they inflate as you jump. Mm -hmm. They just like oh, poof. Okay, so it's like the airbag in a car, right? Just exactly. like that? Exactly. All right, well, I'll, I'll go jump off of that, sure. But first, we have to go over there in the reeds on the edge of the lake and look for that frog for you to kiss. Well played, so well played. It's going to be an incredible weekend down here at Center of Gravity in Kelowna. Don't miss your opportunity to check out all of this cool stuff. That is it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. I'm Lucy Hazelwood. We'll see you next time on Go, if I survive the fall.